And now for today's Bible question. Today we have been learning about seeking God's kingdom. And this means that we are willing to give up the pleasures and riches of this world to gain riches in heaven. We also saw how our faith leads us to anxiously wait for our coming King. We were warned that those who behave wickedly will be judged by the Lord at His return. Someone might ask the question, What treasure can I store up in heaven? Jesus tells us to store up treasures in heaven where they will not fade or corrupt, but will last forever. But what are these treasures that Jesus is speaking about? Men love to seek after the riches of this world. The man Jesus rebuked for covetousness was seeking after an inheritance. Money is the great pursuit of men's hearts in this world. But we shall not need money in heaven. The riches we store in heaven come to us by the way we live in this world. When Jesus spoke about storing up treasures in heaven, he began speaking about how we should live godly in this world and do good to our neighbors. The reward of godliness and showing God's love and goodness will mean that we can enjoy our relationship with God all the more. The Bible speaks of crowns, but we do not necessarily have to think of our treasure as literal crowns, but rather as something like the honor, joy, and victory that a person feels when they are crowned. That is similar to how the Christian will feel when they meet Christ and receive our reward from Him. However, our crown will be much greater than any earthly crown. Imagine the feeling of honor that someone feels when they are crowned king or queen. Imagine how an athlete feels when they receive their victory medal. They feel the power, honor, and greatness that men have given to them, but it only lasts for a moment. What we shall receive in heaven will give us joy, honor, and victory forever and ever. The greatest treasure in heaven is to be with Jesus. He is our Savior, the one who loved us unto death. And when we meet him at last, we shall know the fullness of true love, and it shall sustain us forever. Some things that Jesus has promised to his followers are peace and joy. These are two very precious rewards for the child of God, and they are rewards which shall never fade away through the ages of eternity. Christ will always bring us peace and fill us with joy. This might not seem to be such a great reward when we compare it with all the riches and luxury of this world. But remember that all the world offers never satisfies because it does not last. In heaven our joy will be forever and our peace will endure forever. When a young man and woman are ready to marry and they gaze lovingly into each other's eyes, they think to themselves that they want to spend the rest of their lives together and enjoy and explore the depths of their love for each other. We know from experience that even the love within marriages will face so many challenges and obstacles because of sin. But imagine being with one whose love is unchanging and is perfect in all his ways, knowing that your relationship will continue joyfully forever. This is what our heart longs for, and it is what Christ died for. The greatest reward of heaven is Christ himself and being with him forever. If we have learned to truly love him and live for him, then we shall seek to be with him. Through his riches we shall find our every need met. Our greatest imaginations could not begin to comprehend all the joy and blessing he has in store for those who love him. So we should not think of treasure in heaven as something to compare with the temporary riches of this world. Money and things are just smoke that clouds our eyes. When the smoke clears and we fix our eyes upon the true riches, then all that smoke will be despised. Why should I spend all my time collecting things that I cannot bring to heaven with me, and that simply steal away my heart's affection from Jesus? My treasure in heaven will be so much more joyful if I am able to bring many friends along with me to meet my glorious King. The treasure of heaven includes the souls we helped bring to Jesus 
for their eternal joy. For what is our hope or joy or crown of rejoicing? Is it not even you in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ at his coming? Second Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 19.